a great little song. I love that, that song. One. Andy is so great, beautiful. It's got a great little vibe. Makes it's, you feel it's good. That gave me goosies four or I five times it. during that. Mm-hmm. When did you write that? When did you write that, dude? Hello, is this mic on? <laughs> Hello. The whole world can hear me, but Andy, who's three feet from me, can't hear me. He's just playing. Look. <laughs> He's lost in his playing. Andy should answer with just notes. Andy, are you there? He's there. Everybody, welcome to the Brotherly Love Pod to Pod. I wasn't ready. We're, we're rolling. We I'm, are rolling, 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 rolling. We're rolling, rolling, rolling into rolling. another episode. Rolling. I wasn't wait, ready. Wait, wait, wait. Rolling down the river. Oh. Rolling, um, um, rolling, um, rolling down the river. Hey, guys, uh, you know, happy I saw Diana. I saw Tina Turner in concert. How cool is that with mom? Yeah, that's pretty sick. Oh, dude, so cool. And Diane Mal, she was awesome. Well, it was dope. Happy Friday, everybody. You know, I'm just I'm looking around and I want to redo the studio. We just redid it. You're one of those people, right? You like push. Keep it's like I fresh. need where you come in and like the couch is over fresh. the other side and the TV. But I just wanted to change it up a little bit. You ever meet those people? They have to just constantly rearrange rooms. And you're like, oh yeah, I had a friend like that. Yeah, every time you went over, the, like, it was a what? different arrangement. Right, right. Furniture was in different. And then sometimes I'd go over. Actually, shout out to Alexa. She was my buddy. Okay. One time I went over and she is your buddy. You really? She oh. was my buddy. Oh, she. Well, Brilliant. at that time, but I mean, still as my buddy, she's yeah. great. Um, but. Uh, one time I went over and, she, and then she was like, can you help me? She's my buddy too, my by furniture. the way. Nice. So we rearranged the entire living room. She's dope. Pushed things around. Well, she, hold on. Alexa has, like, honestly, I I mean, yeah. I don't know what she, if it's still this way, but at one point, it it's, I mean, always really, the coolest style. Incredible taste. Just really good really? taste. Yeah. When it comes to, yeah, like, good. What, I mean, architectural design. Okay, 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 okay. I mean, even the garden, like all Everything her potted dope. succulents. Always dope nice. at her place. Always. Her place is Looked awesome. great. Everything you know the great. lights? Right here, the 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 like old school Edison bulb Edison stuff. Bulbs. Yeah, I mean, way before that ever was in fashion. It's like the perfect. Me- she was putting them in her house. Slightly modernized classic, if that makes mm-hmm. like you take that just total classic vibes nice. and uh, vintage, vintage like freestanding tubs stuff. Yeah, really, and really cool. cool stuff. Like all nice. way stuff. before it ever became popular. Yeah, really right? cool. Like decades. Anyway, she was way. Ahead but of I want to redo the. I want to redo the studio. Okay, I'm what thinking. Would you do? Well, what I really we we have this really. Do- I mean, maybe one day we'll do like a studio tour, but. Uh, uh, one day we have uh, our YouTube plaque of our wonderful subscribers, but now I'm obsessed with these plaques and I want more. Oh boy, it's like records. Yeah, no wait. And like you, if you get record. a million, you get the gold one. And no, that, no, wait, no, wait, no, wait. Plaque. We got to get I a saw, million, everybody. I saw Mr. Beast. Community needs taking, to grow. He was, they were interviewing him, and he, they were taking the the camera through his his giant warehouse studio, and they're walking down this hallway, and there were all these plaques on the wall. They were all. YouTube Shmi. plaques. Wow. I got to stop. And he points Shmi. up. He's like, you see this one right here? This is the one you get when you got 10 million. Hit him. 10 million. 10 million. And he had like eight of them. He's got 69 wow. channels is or he something still crazy doing his like paw? this. Wow. I might have to put a cone on That's Shmi. Crazy. Oh, and Shmi's That's chewing so his paw, so I got to put a cone on You know, on why him. do dogs chew on their feet? They get nervous. They do this they all the time. Like, this is a big deal. I see dog dermatologists. Rolling, I see dog dermatologists popping up everywhere. Yeah. There's got to be an issue with this. Yeah. Like what is going on? Well, maybe it's pesticides and stuff on the ground they're walking through that's just irritating their feet. I don't know. Hmm. I know if I, I know that, uh, like, what it was it maybe a few weeks ago, um, must have been some cleaning solution on the floor. It made my foot itch. Really? You know, yeah, you stepped over it. So it could be, I mean, think about it, man. They're always on the ground. I don't know. You're the animal expert. You I know? know. Just... I mean, I'm not sure. I don't I don't have that answer. Crossing. You know about oh. all kinds of whoa. things. Don't worry. Okay. Oh, I'll be fine. oh whoa. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Okay, buddy. Wow. Oh God! Oh, Oof. he just accosted you walking right. by. You guys are so weird. So what? I smell bad. I don't even know you why. Don't I'm smell doing great. No. What? I'm not gonna tell you what it smells like, but he Oof. smells like Philly. <laughs> <laughs> He's got his Philly shirt on. <laughs> He's Jesus. got his Philly shirt on, so he smells like a nice <laughs> cheesesteak right now. Oh God! With, with Wiz Provolone. Funny what? thing is, you know, I'm, I've been dealing with like. I don't know what. I haven't been feeling the best. I I've been feeling like I myself. Know. I know. For the past three months now. I've been trying everything. Going to all sorts of different doctors. Voodoo. I've got MRIs scheduled. Oh, all God. this kind of stuff. I don't know what is going on. It's fun getting old, isn't it? 
I know it's not. Yes, but, it is a blessing. You but wanna, well, I know it's better to be getting old than the than the uh, alternative. I'll take it. I want to get very old, very very wrinkly. And actually, old. sorry to get off topic. Did you see this? What? They're saying that anybody who lives another five to ten years yeah. will have the ability to live to five hundred. That's how good the technology what? is going to get with AI being implemented into our medicines. Really, yeah, you yes. have like bionic organs. Yep. Wow. Weird people yep. though, like weird things. Attachments. I already feel like I'm, I'm kind of bionic. No, I'm kidding. Anyway, I'm I don't know where I was going with that. You said you're not feeling well. Oh, really? Or you're oh, not feeling well. So you know what I'm trying now? What? The carnivore diet. Oh. Okay. I'm Which going is so full funny carnivore. because he was totally busting mom's balls I about was. being carnivore for months. Because my was. mom, he's like a bodybuilder right now, as like you put it so eloquently said the other day yeah, yeah. when she was having steak and sausage. Just, like it was just a full plate of meat. Yeah, yeah just what it was. And she just, she's like, I'm eating carnivore. And she's this petite, beautiful little lady, but like the fact that she eats pounds of meat, pounds meat. is the yeah, weirdest Yeah, well, now thing. I'm doing it. And now Matt's doing it. After really? he was it. so critical of her. You what, owe her an apology, what, probably. What, what I was. Did it work? Everything? What? You're if, just eating meat? Nothing insane. else? Just I think this is insane. Meat. I think it's- I literally make a filet. Wait, but no grains or anything? Like like no apple? Zero. Yeah, it's it's so bit radical. I feel like a Let me healthy, tell you why, moderate- though. Let me tell you why. Because I got diet. a blood test. Right. And everything was fine, except I had- Really elevated blood sugar. Now this HbA1c or whatever it is. It's HPV. <laughs> oh, no, come on. <laughs> no, it wasn't. I don't have anything for everyone out there listening. Uh, I am very clean in that respect. In that regard, sure, just, uh, nothing to see here. <laughs> nothing to no, see. No, but listen. So it's it's the H. It's the I'm H- like a little baby. Hold on, I have it here. A little notes. baby. That's how clean I am. I'm like a little baby. This is getting weird. It is. It's weird. It's getting weird. You guys it's been are weird, weird ever since Matt started talking about his health issues. HA1C, the hemoglobin A1C. <laughs> okay, yeah. So the 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 thing with this, I have is, a little bit of acid reflux. Well, let me know? let me explain this. The thing, the thing about it, what are you taking? I take it on meprazole every day. I'm probably uh, yeah, sick every day. He, yeah, wants, he wants everyone to know this. But the yeah. thing about it, he tells everybody. My thing is that it's not tells every waiter that comes up to the table this. Because How I don't do you get in your ass? I don't. Reflex? I can't eat a lot of the spicy stuff. That and I tell. Oh, them. so you think that that's that's going to help soften the blow for when you give exactly. them your your, your uh, extraordinarily yeah. My specific, specific order? Yes, that is the most obnoxious thing. But it's I will not, say I, I say love it, for it with a lot of respect. Most of the time, and nine out of ten times, you're going. I'll have what he's. Well, eating. just because I don't want to think about what I want to eat, you know. That's it's just right. Like, you know, it's always going to be good. I think no, it's always too many choices. Sorry, Matt. Interrupt. Go ahead. Your your hemoglobin. Your hematoma, your hematoma, hematoma. Your hematoma. Where is it, <laughs> guys? Ah, why is anyway, it so funny? Anyway, the H A B one would ever see, or however it goes, it's this thing where it's not B one would ever see, or however it goes. It's the H A one C, I think. Hemoglobin A one C. Okay. okay. The thing about it is that it's not like it could just spike. It actually takes a three to four month window. Oh, okay. To kind of- And it okay. averages it. And my average was pre-diabetic. Now, that's just so strange. So my, I had you really high blood sugar. Mm-hmm. So you were saying you, you don't eat any apples or fruit? No, I had to cut out everything, even honey. Can't have anything like that. Honey, nothing, I understand, but like even nothing, like natural, like- Nothing, no sugars whatsoever. I'm trying to lower that. I'm trying to figure out where that came from. Right. At the same time- in Maybe case it's, it's an autoimmune, I'm going strictly carnivore because I've been seeing people who do that, who wipe out their autoimmune problems with just going carnivore. So I don't know. I used to be so mostly vegetable. So all kinds of meat, just all, like turkey. Yeah, but very, but very specifically, I'm like just what? sticking with red meat at the moment, which I know is crazy. I'm trying it. I'm willing to try anything. It's been three months. Three months of feeling off. He looks great that he's feeling I've never great. felt like he this ever up. in my entire life. I've always like been pretty darn healthy. It felt pretty darn I mean, you good. You are still healthy, bro. I mean, you are. You know. The last three months. I know you don't feel that great, but I don't you feel know, great. I know. I don't I know. feel right. Okay. Well, that's I. Yeah. I. Yeah. I often question. And it's really myself. annoying. It's you know, getting to my nerves. Well, you know what I think happens. Something happens like when you start getting in your late thirties and your forties, and you just start like, I don't know. For me, and I've talked to so many people about this. Like, you start to just think. I'm not, and I'm not saying this, I'm not making light of it, but you start to think like you're dying or something, like something's wrong, you know, always yeah. something wrong. And I don't know. I mean, I, you know, you, you, you get like a little pain. I mean, when you were a kid, you got a pain. You couldn't wait for it to end so you can get back to doing what you were doing. Yeah. Now you get a little pain. You're like, that's not normal. No. Well, wait a minute. What is this? That, that's, that can't be right. I know. Now, what is this? What area is this? You know, whatever it is. You start Googling things, which by the way, oh. that is a, that is a fool's errand, Googling anything. Because that is a roller coaster to to 
a horrific mental ride. Oh that my you gosh, you go take. down that rabbit hole. Yeah, I don't but know. I feel like scary. Everything, everything, everything leads you to death. Yeah, everything you leads you to death. That? Yeah, well, I love it because it could be one of four hundred things or death. You know, <laughs> and, I mean, and it's like, all bad. I know, I know. But it like even like waking up and like I woke up the other day, my hand was numb. You know, like like mm. a little tingly. Now I probably just was sleeping. I don't know because it's fine. But I woke up and I was like, "What? This is not good. Like, what is?" <laughs> What is this circulation? You have to wait. I have a two week rule. If anything wrong with you, wait two weeks. Yeah, I, you know what? That's good. It's been three months. Right. Yeah. This is this, then I have a six month rule. <laughs> Did I mention I also have a six month rule? Wait, two weeks and six months? Well, that's a big difference. I'm actually, Andy. I'm actually like like going like maybe it is the six month thing because you know they say every six months your body turns well, over its sure. cells. That's for sure. I mean, when yeah. I got my ulcerative colitis. <laughs> You know, stomach issue stuff. This has turned into a <laughs> oh my gosh, no, my honestly, acid reflux, my ulcerative sort of colitis, and my, and my, my HAVC one mm. test. This is much worse, I guess. Mine, well, they couldn't diagnose mine for a while, but no, yeah, for you years. thought you know, they're for years. Yeah, you went through some serious stuff. Yeah, it's yeah. called the limbo stage. But I did fix it with diet and exercise. Yeah, extreme diet and extreme exercise. Mm. God, oh, God, Andy is just, <laughs> he's so out of control. I'm a Tony Horton disciple now. Extreme. Oh my gosh. Yep. I do everything to extreme. No, but it's great to just physically. Andy walked up to me the other day, he's like, you coming this Sunday? Yeah. I think you're I'm getting going. back in the saddle? I think oh, going. I'm having a little bit of a forearmitis, as I like to call it. <laughs> you have the same pain. <sighs> I have the same pain. It's, it's so bad. It's on top of the forearm. Mine's underneath now. Okay, mine's on top, right where it meets the bicep so I had, on the forearm. Yeah. Oh, it just, I'll be holding my toothbrush. I'm like, so that hurts. A, that's a weirder. That's a more. I have a more generic now forearmitis. Again, as I call it, not the official term, which is underneath. It's like a. It's under here. It's really bad, dude. It is. Hey, so... And your veins are a little blue. Is that normal? What? I got to Google it. Really oh blue. boy. Yeah, it's because yeah. that's what blood looks like underneath the skin, bro. No, mine yeah. don't look blue like yours, bro. No, you have a little HVC. Yeah, one I'm. Thing I'm pumping. On, so I'm pumping good. Right now, no, but the blue is actually the the dirty blood going back to your heart to be cleaned. Um, it's got a lot of dirty blood. Um, <laughs> it's ridiculous. Look at all this. Look at all this filth. <laughs> Pure filth. Look at me. It's ridiculous. Your heart's working overtime. Buddy. My heart does work a lot, though. Oh, uh, you're like it's Doctor you know Freeze what? with all the blue blood. You know what this. I heard? You know what Freeze. I heard? Filth, Gotham. You know what I heard? And hands. Andy will be happy to hear about this because probably for anybody out Gotham. there who hasn't seen them, Andy has huge. Calves. Yeah. He does. I do. Massive, I mean, massive genetic. Although you never done anything about no them. No calves. Do you know that calves? I didn't know this. Calves are called the second heart. Do you know why? Wow. They pump all the blood. All the blood pumps back up from your legs. Wow. To your calves. I'm not kidding. They're called the second heart. I didn't wow. know that. I didn't know that. So you must have really good circulation, Ann. Well, look, you've got massive calves. He does. All of his veins are blue. Blue. That's right. <laughs> like, um, because I have so much oxygen in my blood. Yeah. I got no. It'd be the opposite. You have zero oxygen in your <laughs> blood. Oxygenated blood is red. Very yeah. red. I think because underneath the skin, I think red underneath your skin is looks blue. That's the that's no, Andy. No, I swear to God. No, you're wrong. You got no. a lot of veins in your forearms, and they're blue. What I'm you telling mean? you, Andy. You need to get some what do you mean? oxygen in your blood, dude. You're lean, bro. You're I know. lean. But yeah. I also were. I just did. Uh, Back and chest, like right before you got here, I did back and chest. Okay, so I'm pumped. My okay. arms. You know that character in Burn After Reading, George Clooney. Ooh. Yes. You know, after he does anything, yeah. he has to get a workout in. Yeah. That's Andy now. Yeah. No matter what he's doing, he's like, I'm just gonna get a quick workout in. Well, I gotta be honest with you. It, it, it's, I actually like that movie. No, it's good movie. I love that movie. Yeah. It's I do, and I, Brad Pitt was yeah. so funny in that. He, he was, was amazing. He, he was, oh my god, played an off, really off. <laughs> it was honestly one of his best performances. <laughs> he's so, he's so well, when it comes to character, yeah, because he's not gonna say his best performance. No, no, you're right. No, no, when it comes to character, but no, but it was interesting because he did something. Generally, he's just a cool dude. He's the coolest guy ever. So quick. Quirky in yeah, that. but he's that so one, he was so it really worked. Yeah, he does do good uh, characters though. When he plays them, he's he like does. fantastic. Dude, snatch. twelve monkeys, Dude, twelve monkeys, two romance with the beginning. Oh yeah. yeah, I mean he's so great. Yeah. yeah. Um. Anyway, so yeah. you were saying you just got a back and chest workout in? I did a pretty intense workout. Wow, it's great. And you did plyo? Yesterday, I, I burned twenty one hundred calories. I did. Uh, not so sure about those calorie know. readers. Where are you reading that from? Your watch. Yeah, yeah, I'm not so sure Ooh. about that. How does it really determine? Yeah, that to I don't heart, know. Heart rate, heart rate, and time. Yeah, but everybody's body is different. Everybody's yeah. well, structural. You fill it out. You know, makeup is different. Yeah. I don't know about that. What do you What do you say when you fill it out? Like I'm girthy. <laughs> I'm girthy. What kind of body? What's your body type? Girthy. Huge calves. Right. I have two, three. Big hearts. bone. Big bone. 
Big bone. The second heart. Yeah, I got three hearts. I, I, don't, I don't know how... how you got to your... <laughs> legitimate. Uh, I think it's pretty legitimate. Okay. I don't know about yeah. that. Okay. But I definitely... I think I, pulse... I a lot. Things like that. That's That can be very legitimately... Yes. Red. Heart, heart rate. Yeah, by a monitor. But when it comes to how many calories, calories you're burning... I know, like, I do the I assault bike, that. and I'm I'm like... I do, like, like 15 minutes of that thing. I'm dying. I look down, it's like... 300 calories. I'm like, there's no way. Yeah. yeah. I definitely right. burned more than 300 calories. Yeah. I, I would absolutely definitely. say you did, dude. And, and, and like, I just, I just don't think so, you know? And then I think other things monitor. I it. always double it. You guys are absolutely. ridiculous. Yeah, absolutely. You're going the wrong I do, way. I do too. You're going the wrong way. I do that way. with height. They're I do that forgiving. with everything. Shoe no. size. Calorie Stop burners it. are too yeah. forgiving. I know I burned a, 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 a grip I'm of calories. No are I you holding up a soda just to like counteract I that? know. I, it's a, Yeah, I know I heard. I, I, I heard. I, I heard, heard from a guy that I did. You oh, you suck. heard. You, you don't know suck. for sure. I'm done. I'm, I'm resorting mm. to drinking. What else? What else, guys? It's Friday. We're rolling into another weekend. Yeah. Weekend. Weather. You know what? Uh, can I just reflect on something for a minute? How beautiful it is out here. I don't know. No, it's not. It's been beautiful. Oh, it's been okay. Yeah. Um, is your hat velvet? It is. What is that? Velvet? Is that the, St. Louis? The Velveteer. St. Louis. Cardinals. Yeah. Wow. I like the hat. I saw one of these hats, one of these velvet hats Can I, I gotta make on a, Pinterest just, real quick. I got a And I guess the guy had worn it, right? And it looked like it was, you know, maybe a few years old, but he had worn it and all the oils, I guess, from your hands. And it was all weathered and cool. Mm. And I thought the texture was so cool. Well, you can't find hats like that. You got to wear it in. So I bought one. I found one. And uh, I don't know. It might be ridiculous. But maybe in six months from now, it'll be really cool. Yeah, I like that And idea. Uh, yeah, I forgot people actually watch this pod. Well, Why don't you listen. get a little bit of olive oil? Oh, my God. Yeah. And some rosemary and throw it in a pan. What? A pan? Cook it up for 15, no, yeah. 20 or Little so. garlic salt. Yeah. You'll love throw it. Throw it in an air fryer. <laughs> an air <laughs> fryer. <laughs> uh, a uh, disclaimer. Charred. If I ever wear a hat that's not a Phillies hat or a Lakers hat... Um, Gonna be a brother love pot or hat. or uh, no or an Eagles hat, um, like another sports team. It's definitely hand me down from Joe. Yeah, like, all my I hat. don't have. I no, I am too. a hardcore. Me too. Eagles. No, I do like I the Dodgers, too. but I'm a Phillies fan. I really like the Lakers. Um, I am too, but let me tell you, Eagles, something. Lakers, really. I don't, Anything else? I don't have to wear like I'm not like it's I don't Joe's I don't forbid myself to not stretch if I like another team's hat. You know, it's like I. I it's for I me it. it's more just it like becomes I just, a fashion I like statement. That. I honestly wish the just, Phillies I had a better I and again I love the iconic P the original one. Mm -hmm. I don't like the new P. You know what I don't like for, it right? on hats. Really? No, no. You know what it stands for, right? Philadelphia. Philadelphia. The Phillies. Uh, you could call in. Uh, <laughs> the Philadelphia Phillies. I have no yeah. idea. Exactly. Yeah, that's what it stands. You nailed for. it. It used to be the Philadelphia Athletics. You know that. Right. The athletics were in Philadelphia. Remember that? And they moved to, yeah, they moved out west. When was but that? They're thinking about changing it to the Skims. Like the 70s? The Philadelphia no. Skims. No. The athletics? Yeah. No. No. Uh, 50s? Oh, oh nobody. Boy. You're the worst. Nothing. Start, 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 start talking about something. I'm not listening to Andy. Um, <laughs> um, Woo! I wanted Weekend's to say, though, already I was, started for me. I wanted to say, oh, though, um, the live pod that we did. Yeah. Looking back on it, right? A few mm -hmm. weeks ago. Like, I'm actually really jonesing to do another one of those. I don't know about I don't know about you guys. Me too. It was fun to feed off the audience. Although I gotta say, I'm gonna counteract that. We have guests. We do live podcasts. We do all this stuff. But I don't. I I guess I know. The I roots. don't feel as you like getting back to the roots. I don't feel as open. It's like the cameras definitely go away when it's just the three of us. I could talk about anything. Oh boy. Yeah. Maybe we should get some guests. Truly anything. Yeah. I, I don't know. even care. I don't even think I about it. Oh no. I know. Let's... I know. I agree. Let's so agree. something special about that. Let's keep the hands on the on the reins for this conversation if we <laughs> I can. I could talk about anything, uh, no. baby. Hey, uh, no, I agree with you. I I do like getting in front of a live audience. I think it's fun. I think we should. You don't do like more. it when it's just the three of us. I like it when it's the three of us too. Four of us, because you know Sam is. I don't recognize him. I don't even believe he's here. <laughs> uh, okay, so Philadelphia Athletics. They, Take it away, Joe. Yeah, the history of the Athletics Major League Baseball franchise spans from 1901 to present day. Began in Philadelphia, moved to Kansas City in 55, and then found I said its, it's the 50s. <clears throat> and right. then found its home in Oakland, California in 1968. Wow. However, the Phillies were their own team. Okay, so the Athletics and the Phillies both were in Philadelphia. I want a, I want a Philadelphia Athletics And the Philadelphia, and the Philadelphia um, listen, listen to this. Retro. 1883. What? And they are what? the what? oldest... They are the oldest continuous one name, one city franchise in all of professional sports. What? 
How? The Phillies. Phillies. So we got to so wrap. That's like the oldest of old. <clears throat> well, you know, as we when we you know where we, we grew up, like at um, AFS school, there are some of the oldest structures in North America on that campus. That meeting for worship house, that Quaker house, that was one of the original structures built in. That's right. The entire United States. So it's, Philly has some really old, old history we, when it comes to colonization. Of course. The, yeah. I think the Liberty Bell. Hello, uh, Benjamin Franklin. Yeah. Oh yeah, no. I mean, well, Philadelphia wasn't got, it the first White House? Yeah, yeah all that it was the all original that. capital, right? Right. Of the U.S. Yeah. yeah. So the Phillies just I think the I'm first fire department. Hole. You know why they moved it? Nobody knows. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Um, Ask Nicholas Cage no. from National Treasure. You know, <laughs> they moved it due to safety because it was it was going to be stormed right in the Civil War. So, but why would they move it to Washington D.C.? I, I don't know. It's a district. It's not even a state. Anyway, it's such a dis- excuse what, what a mistake. What a Nicholas, disgrace. You just said Nicholas Cage. I don't want to go down a Nicholas Cage rabbit hole because I'm already going down a Philadelphia Phillies rabbit hole. But Nicholas Cage. Can we go did you hear down this, this recent Cage quote from him hole? a few weeks ago? No, where he said that he remembers, and he was dead serious. He remembers his time in the womb. He, oh, I saw this. He remembers seeing himself. He remembers the walls of the womb. It wasn't possible because his eyes weren't open. Not Nicolas Cage's eyes. They were open. He's in there. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, fantastic. God, However, no. I have heard that there is a face-off too in the works. Get out of here. I swear. That I'll text you. Maybe John. it's just a rumor. I got to text John and you ask should, him. At least you should ask oh, I will. Dude, that would be the coolest I thing. I heard on. that it's in the works. So, so the what do they do? They founded... take their faces off again? The yes. Were... No. Wait, this goes back no, to what you were saying. Remember again. how you were just talking about at Abington Friends, <laughs> mm-hmm. the meeting for Worship House, which was a Quaker school. Yeah. Okay. So the Phillies, which we know were founded in 1883, were also informally known as both the Quakers and the Phillies, which was short for the Philadelphians. Okay. Uh... And Philly. people started to get Philly. frustrated as to what they wanted to call the team and mm. got into a lot of disagreement. So they officially named them the Philadelphians uh, wow. in 1890, seven years later, and then they shortened it to Phillies. Wow. Yes. Interesting. Yes. So that's the history. Which, by the way, we should have known, and I'm sure every good- And do you know where Quaker comes from? Quaker Oats? No. The oatmeal guy? No. <laughs> Do you know Good what, call, Andy. You know, what, you know why they were called the Quakers? I could Google it. Of, uh, I, because they were such twice. a peace-loving pe- people that if anybody confronted them with anger or violence, they would quake in their boots. Mm. Really? No joke. Come on. I'm not kidding. That, really? is, the, that is the reason why they were called That's awesome. Quakers. That's awesome. I like that. Yeah. Well, Abbey and Friends was a great school. Oh, my gosh. It was a Quaker school, but there weren't many Quakers there because there was there's very few Quakers like left kind of, you know, as the Quaker iteration yeah. existed. But... But uh, what an amazing school that was. And our meeting for Worship House was pretty dope. In the 1600s, it was built. Yeah, it was yeah. so cool because it, it didn't it, it didn't matter what denomination or what really religion you were. It was just a moment that you'd all come together mm-hmm. to, to give thanks, to have a, a worship of your own right. individually to whatever you believed in, and whatever but all together. It was really wonderful. I the really loved that. The fact that an entire student body, so listen to this, from, from kindergarten to 12th grade, gathered here once a week on Wednesdays, and anybody could stand up at any time yeah. and talk about something that they were going through. I know. And they did. I know. And it was, you think about a school community. I know. And this is not like 12 kids. I mean, there's quite a few kids in there. I know. It's not a large school, but the classes were, you know, 60 to 80 per class, which is not, it's small. I know. But it's not infinitesimal. And the fact you think of a student body. I know. Gathering. Really rare. And you know, so I'm, special. Yeah. And it's shout out to Abington Friends, yeah. AFS. And there um, were grades yep. until middle school. Yep. You have no grades. It was all about yep. your comprehension of yep. the material. Yep. That's yep. how you progressed. You know what's funny? Is which I is think, really yep. the way that it should be that because sounds... when you're just trying to learn for a test to write a dot on a Scantron back in our day, they, don't, they still even do Scantron these days. I mean, I don't know. With no. number two pencils. Yeah, I was just gonna yeah, say yeah. I don't. I, that sounds absurd, but then again, I think because my elementary, literally, like my elementary school, was so intense. Yeah, I think that's when I developed my stomach ulcer. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure, dude. And ours, you know, we it's, were blessed. You know, it's really shocking. It's really shocking to me. Special. I'm so it's, glad that mom found that because that was. It's wow. really Boy, shocking was that to me. Time in my life. This is really shocking to me that they're trying to pull these values out of society mm-hmm. when it comes to the schools yeah. or out there. And they're making people who have faith and have religion to be the outcast. 
what is going on with I that? Don't know. There are incredible morals and values. It doesn't matter what religion you have. No. I don't think anybody really cares about that. But why are you no. trying to draw that away? Why are you trying know. to take that from people? These are the things that keep societies together. Look, I mean, it's yeah, very, it's very. I'm very I confused by too. this. There's and there's a push. I don't know where it's coming from or what underbelly is pushing this. Yeah. But there's a definite push to get people away from that sort of a thing. And there's, I've even gone as far to over your kids talk about how like it's a cult. And it's like no, 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 no. There are what, principles. There are those. Wait, what's a cult? Any sort of religious gathering in church, any sort of religious, you know, um, belief is is now wrong. It's so strange. Well, again, to and me. we 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 talked about this on the pod before, but it's it's about. It's just another form of community. Yeah, it is. Very insightful, Ed. Thanks for that. Uh, yeah, it is. Added, added cults. Fact. Cults are. <laughs> no, not cults, you idiot. Oh, gosh. You, he's kidding. <laughs> oh, Shmi agrees. Shmi barks. He loved it. <laughs> for the cults. <laughs> you idiot. No, the football team. Yeah, and Indianapolis Colts. Yeah, the Indianapolis Colts. Exactly. Who knew? So, so, you cut back to me. I'm wearing a Colts. That was an hat. O or a U. <laughs> uh, you're an idiot. You're such a stupid. You guys are the worst. You guys are so Oh, stupid. Lord. That's so funny. No, but it is sad. I agree with you. I it agree is with sad. You. It, it, man, it's just, I don't know. Cheers. You know, cheers, cheers everybody. Cheers. I feel like uh, I don't want to get too long winded about it. I just it feel like it's... any kind of morals and values they're trying to, like, take I know, stamp out. Of out. People. I don't, I don't understand. I don't know. It really was an amazing place. The fact that. You know, you literally could say anything that was on your mind. And sometimes I remember being in there Wednesday mornings, nobody nobody said anything. But other times, you know, I remember as a kid being in first or second grade, like a senior would stand up and say, you know, my parents just got a divorce or something. And or and I and it was a lot of it was, or my dad just passed away and the pain that I'm going through. And this is somebody that was in the upper school. Like I didn't know them. And I remember sitting there feeling like, wow, that's really something. That's and a what much, a special moment. That's know? a much better, I don't, I we had like chapel where I went to school, but we didn't okay. have the ability to to share yeah. or connect quite like yeah, that. Yeah, this was, this was non-denominational, so it was, it was all religious, it was all religions, it was, it, it didn't matter what, it wasn't like a, like a pastor, a Christian service, or a Jewish service with a rabbi or anything else, it was, it was literally just, it was a, it was a place of spirituality, and you brought your faith there, and then if you felt comfortable, you spoke about whatever you was on your mind or in your heart. And boy, it was really special. And it was a special place and a special school. You know, Abby and friends, shout out, man. I was I was a lifer there. One of the best things. I don't know how mom found that school for us, but I'm I'm so thankful she found it because it was one of the it was some of the best moments of my life there, you know, growing up. So well, yeah, I had a complete shock, a complete shock to the system when I was because I went through undergrad or under what 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 is, what is K through like elementary? elementary? Elementary. Yeah. Thanks, Andy. Mm -hmm. Went through elementary there, and then I come out to L.A. and get thrown into a school like yeah. Campbell Hall, where there were L.A. kids and yeah, very cliques very and the cool... I mean, I was like... I literally made one or two friends, yeah. and that was it. Fortunately, I you found a great myself. buddy. But I did. But, I, but you got lucky. I got lucky, but I mean... I mean you met Andy and Alexa. Yep. Two lifelong very friends, good. yeah. Lucky. I mean, I met my, my good friends there as well. Yeah. yeah. You're lucky. Well, it's and it's much different even now. You know, you guys. I mean, a lot's changed. You know, a lot. So much has changed. You know, I yeah. I don't know. Like I said, we always say it. I don't know where we're going. You in know, this Gerald. World. It just feels like an uneasy time. You know, I, I feel feel like the convergence of all this. Uh, just I feel the convergence of the digital space has just really changed the human experience. And I it's but I I'm really on the fence. It, it could change uh, it, it, for could change better, it for the better, man. But I'm on the fence about that big time. But anyway. You know, you see all these memes going around, you know, in the 80s, you know, where the kids were playing because you saw the all the 80s. lights, you know, and all these things. Times are changing. 80s and 90s. Well, it, it hurts me a little bit in my heart because I'm, I'm an outdoors guy. You yeah. know, I'm a nature mm -hmm. guy. And mm -hmm. uh, and I think most kids just, just don't get outside all that much. You know, they're mostly indoors, computers on their phones. That's me. Yeah, it's a totally different time, man. It's just, they're not uh, really enjoying the no. outdoor space. So who's, what's that, is the next generation going to want to preserve it? You know, and then you have Bill Gates out there talking about how he doesn't, think that trees are really useful on the planet and we'll go and say that science says that i mean what are we the scientists have you seen this clip about yeah, him actually, this it, it hit me clip. so to the heart i couldn't believe he was saying this that you know what are we scientists the science is out there trees are the greatest i mean <laughs> they are the 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 solve to our carbon footprint the more trees in fact they do a double positive not only do they absorb carbon right, but they put Right. But they put out oxygen. Yes. The thing that we need to breathe. And even David Attenborough in his uh, special um, A Testament to, my, to, to His Life, 
go and watch it and watch the end of that in particular where he shows what can happen to the planet as we warm the planet and what's happening with the planet warming. And if we just rewilded certain spots. Rewild. I like that. Sorry, yeah. rewild. Yeah, not certain, wired, wild. Right. Did I say, what did I say? No, you said it right. Oh. I just like it. Yeah. If we just rewild certain spots on the globe, enough in the U.S., enough in Russia, a little bit in China, here and there, we can completely solve this emissions problem. But yet they keep throwing out all these crazy solutions. That it's just trees. Yeah. Always turn to nature. Nature has had, the depending on what you believe, it's had five billion years just on this planet to perfect things. Yeah. There's a reason why the food chain works so harmoniously yeah. and why there are such incredible symbiotic relationships between species and between things. We need to have that symbiotic relationship with our trees. And it's so important. And it's so scary to me that these people in power are, well, are against he, it. I don't know Weird. if he's against it. He no, he's against no, it. No, he just said he's not, he thinks it's nonsense that planting, tr uh, that planting more trees will reduce carbon Bro, emissions. Bro, this goes back to my days yeah. working with- He wants with, to come up with other ways of- This goes back just, to- that, I don't know if he's openly like- This goes back to my days working with, you know, uh, when I was really he, involved with the San Diego Zoo and my buddy used to work there. And there was like all this, they would go out to him all the time for funding and he would say the same thing every time. I will fund well, for human issues. I will not fund for na for natural oh no. issues. And that doesn't make any sense because natural issues are he, human issues. He, he has a company that offsets his carbon emission, his own, like Microsoft's carbon emissions, um, supposedly. Like he, he does. Oh yeah, that's great. So- uh, and I he just doesn't do it through planting trees. No, 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 no. I'm I, not saying, I've I'm not, this, I mean, I don't know. I've heard I've, this I've heard argument. a bunch of crazy stuff. I I've just don't heard, know. I don't believe or, I've you know, I'm not, argument. I'm not I, wonder what, I wonder what his argument is. Like, if it's I've not true. You, know, you know what we should do? We should have him on the pot. I you wish. know what? We'll get him on the pot. <laughs> I've heard this argument and I've watched it out of his own mouth. What you, what you he says, from? here's what he says. Right. Yes, I have, because he does. He has one of the biggest carbon footprints out of anybody on the planet. Yeah. Well, but not him personally, but his, him personally. His, no, his business, Microsoft. Andy, when it comes to a personal human being, he is at the top of the top. Andy? Yeah, I think the bottom line is we got to get Gates on the show. That's, that, that's, that's it. I'm going to make a call. <laughs> Uh, Andy, what are you playing over there? I just have my guitar. Why, man? You feeling stressed, man? Whenever you're stressed, you pull up the old guitar. I do. I hide behind I it. I feel like it's that scene in Three Amigos. Blue moon rising. Remember that? On the trail. Remember that? It's a great scene. soothing. It, oh, do you remember that scene? They're sitting there with the campfire, and then they're like, good night, Ned. Remember that the oh, little yeah. the, the, the little turtle? Yeah, the animatronic turtle. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's so. Good night, Dusty. Yeah. Good night, Ned. Good night, Ned. Good night, Ned. What movie did they do that in? It's an outside of the of the house, and you hear people saying hello, and then the lights go off. Oh, that was such a great. It moment. was. I don't know what movie that was. What this is one that? is the Three Amigos that I'm talking about. But yeah, what movie was that? When they're outside the house. Thinking now. Good night. Good night. Good night, mom. Good night, Dad. Gosh, I don't remember and the movie. And then the lights go off yeah. in the rooms? Yeah, it was oh, great. I, love I don't that. remember that movie, but it was definitely know. a movie. I don't know what movie it was. Did you figure that out? Yeah, I mean, Do it's it. only three chords, three oh, notes, good. so who yeah. cares? We're here. You go. Do 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 that. Do 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 that. Do 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 Ridiculous. There's this little thing called the brotherly love pod, uh, no, baby. No. Ooh, and it's coming your way. Well, I guess you'd say. Wait, what the, we can't. These are other songs. Dude, this is original, bro. No. We're writing Completely something. Original. No one's ever used those notes before. <laughs> we were onto something and you messed it up because you no. stopped. Well, play, play what you want to play. You hear an play. original? Yeah. yeah. I would love to. Yeah, Andy. We want to hear an original. Michael Jackson? Yeah. Play, Andy. 
Think about Mike the Steve. world. Wait, what? <laughs> Make it a better place. Ooh. Yeah. I'm never going to be able to keep on rhythm if there's all this mouth this is, percussion. I'll be the metronome. No, jeez, Lord, please. No, I got to start over now. She walks miles like nothing. She stares straight into the storm. She wears a smile like armor when she's out there in the world. Ooh, shine like a star. Yeah. Ooh, show me where you are, and I'll come running to you. I'll come running out yeah. to you. I'll come running. <clears throat> she steps right over mountains. She stares straight into the sun. She wears tennis shoes to go dancing. And in her best dress, she plays in the mud now. Ooh, shine like a star. Oh, ooh, show me where you are. And I'll come running to you. And I'll come running. And I'll to you. Now come in Yeah 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 Yeah. She goes off like a firecracker, shooting out in the silence of night. Yeah, yeah. She comes howling in like rolling thunder. She bats her eyes and shows off her might now. Shine like a star. Where you are, you and I come running to you. Come running to you, Matt. Come running to you. Come running to you. Come running to you. Yeah. Come running to you. Come on into you. Come on into you. Come on into you. Hey, dude. It's a great little song. I love that, that song. Andy is so great, beautiful. Got a great little vibe. Makes it's, you feel it's good. That gave me goosies four or five times it. during that. Mm-hmm. When did you write that? When did you write that, dude? Hello, is this mic on? <laughs> Hello, the whole world can hear me, but Andy, who's three feet from me, can't hear me. He's just playing. Look, <laughs> oh God. he's lost in his playing. Andy should answer with just notes. Andy, are you there? He's there. Yeah, 
yeah, yeah, yeah, My yeah. My foot fell asleep. Oh. I don't know why. It's a good You're, tune. It's because your veins aren't blue. That's why your foot fell asleep. It's a good tune. But Andy's got the blue veins. <laughs> Should we do one more song for everybody? Yeah, let's go out on a nice tune. We've already played this one, but I kind of want to play it again because I feel like we need a redemption tour. What? A redemption tour. Yeah, isn't that I weird? know because you're the, your own worst critic. That's why, which is a good thing. That's why you're really good at what you do. But anyway, that's a words of affirmation. That's a love language. I'm sending that your way because I love you guys, Matt. I love you. We just don't have any more songs. We just have the same song. We only have two songs right now. We can just make up a song. We got tons of songs. No, we can make it up. We don't think we should make, make it up. Come on. Song. That let's go. A little scary. Yo, it's Friday. Do you just want to wing it? No. I don't know what to do. I want do. to play it by ear. How about this one? I got one. Oh, no. Yo, it's Friday. Here we go. And I don't know what to do. Uh, boom, boom. Um, I guess I'm going to come down to the basement, sit down and have a little chat with you two. Eh? Mm -hmm. Boom, boom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Start a little podcast, bring it to the world, see what they say, oh my, oh my, whatever come with me, I love being here with you, and you, and you, and you, <laughs> it's Friday, oh, what a good day. To be alive it's just the and same chord your... progression as the song I just played. <laughs> oh, is it really? Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to come up with something else, but I can't because it's is literally, it? literally. I wish I had a keyboard here. Day. I love being here with you it's and a... you and you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She walks. Oh yeah. Miles like nothing. She All right, well, play whatever. Right, play us out uh... or play the other song, whatever you want. Oh, oh. What happened? Honestly, I got to take off these hair bands because they're just, they're well, ruining You got to take off the hair bands. I thought you were a fair in the hair no, bands. No, I got to just, <laughs> I got to start over. Hair bands from the 80s. I got to take right. all this off. All right, take it all off. I got to take we'll it all off. We'll edit all this out so nobody sees you pulling Perfect. off all your utility. It's like that scene from Lethal Weapon, just all these 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 bolts and belts and things. What is where is all this stuff coming? Oh my god. It's a be, pile of stuff he just took off. I gotta I gotta be free. How do you even wear Honestly, all that it's stuff? It's crazy how much that stuff weighs you down. Of course it does. And it's like speed bumps because then you got all this metal going. But I don't know how like the rockers, well, they're playing electric, it's different. Anyway, where was I? Uh... I don't know, Andy. Okay. <laughs> I wish I had a little shaker or something, you know? Cowbell! Everybody needs cowbell! <laughs> Some days I'd be alive. I could. Joe, you're not singing, dude. Yeah, I'm sorry. What are I you was trying to get a drum. You can't play that drum. No. There's a shaker over there. No. I like this drum. Go ahead, Andy. Go ahead. You see the red shaker over there? Toss it over here. Just give it a good toss. Yeah, give uh -oh. it a good toss. All right, oh, here we go. Lord. Let's go. Some days I feel like I'm on the clouds and I am walking on the moon. Some days I am sinking on the couch and I am moving anytime soon. Some days I feel like I will rule the world and I am wearing a crown. Oh, yeah. Some days I feel like a flip side on the corner and I can't help but feeling down. Ooh, you sent me, baby. You sent me all around. Oh, yeah. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Thank you very much, everybody. You sent me, baby. On the pod, the pod, you the pod, baby. You sent me all around. Oh, yeah. Is. 
God bless. We'll see you next Friday. Next Friday, everybody. Right here, same time, same place. Really love pop. We love you guys. Thanks so much for watching every single week and listening to us. We truly appreciate you. You send me, baby. You send me all around. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, what's up, everybody? The Lawrence, Lawrence Brothers, Brothers are here. here. Thank you so much for enjoying this week's episode of the Brotherly Love Pod. And if you want more of this show, check out our premium feed on Supercast. That's right, where you'll see ad-free episodes, monthly AMAs, behind-the-scene content, and so much more. That's brotherlylove.supercast.com to join. Check out our link tree and subscribe on all platforms. We'll see you all next week. week.